Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi, my name is Kathleen. Today I will be showing you guys how to achieve the UK black girl makeup look that's been trending and that everybody's been doing. I technically have been doing this look without even knowing that that's what I was doing. I'll also be trying out some new products. I picked up some new makeup. I'll be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Foundation and the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I know I'm late on the train. It's been two years now since those products have been out, but I've been looking for some new makeup lately and I decided to finally give the Fenty Foundation a try. So today you guys will be seeing how I achieved the UK black girl makeup look using Fenty products. And you guys will also get to see what I think about the products. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a new video. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into the video. Starting off, please ignore my eyelashes. I actually did my eyelashes myself, but you know, as with any eyelash, you know, it, it falls off. It be falling. It be falling. Ignore the fact that I have these two spaces in the front. We're not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer in upgrade my makeup technique. I want to try to do makeup. I've been kind of getting bored of my makeup. Now when I went to Ulta and I was trying the foundation, I tried it on my hand and it was a perfect, it was a perfect match. Ever since I started doing makeup, I have not been able to find a foundation that, well I have been close, but I've never really been able to find a foundation that matched my skin perfectly. So when I tried this and I, and I matched it to the color of my hand, I also saw that it was gliding on, it just melted into my skin. I was like, yeah, I have to get this. <laughs> I'm going to actually be trying it on my face because you know, sometimes the skin on your hand is different from the skin on your face. Now, I don't know how much I would need. I, I heard that it was buildable coverage, so we're just gonna see. Okay, right off the bat, I'm seeing the same, I'm probably gonna need a little bit more, but I'm seeing the same thing that I saw in Sephora. I'm seeing it. That instant, I know you guys see it too, but it's literally melting into my skin. I didn't, I was barely blending. I didn't even have to blend too much for you guys to see this. I am not capping. You guys saw this four years of like, I'm not doing, I'm barely doing anything. I'm literally just like patting this into my skin and it's melting. Just like, this is crazy. It's like a color match to my skin. And it's just like buttery. That's like the best word that I have for this foundation. It's like a butter. It's like a butter. It's like butter. It looks like skin. 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 Yeah. Skin. A lot of these products I have already spoken about in my other makeup videos, in my very first, well, in both of my makeup videos, I've spoken about these products. I'm not gonna go too in depth. Roy, I love this.
the UK girl makeup look is all about highlight. It's all about a banging highlight. And one thing about me is I have to go out with a bang. One thing about me is I'm gonna go out with a banger. So I didn't even know I was doing the UK black girl makeup look. I just liked a really bright under eye. And then I saw all the girls on Instagram and YouTube talking about UK black girl makeup look. And I was like, hold on. Let me see what's up with this. And I saw that it was all about a really bright under eye. Literally. And I was already doing this. But I guess that makes me a UK babe, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm basically a UK black girl. In my head, I'm a UK black girl. I don't care what anybody says. I love the UK babes. And I know they love me too. In it. <laughs> The first concealer that I went in with is supposed to be like my base concealer. That's what's really going to be giving us the UK black girly. concealers in two different shades. One is in 270 and the other one is in 255. I've used a 255 before and I thought it was a bit bright for me. Then I got the 270 and it's supposed to be darker. This has like a really like pinkish undertone. What do you guys think about these two? I think today I'm gonna use this one to achieve the ultimate UK black girl status. And I'm just gonna blend that out further. You see, as soon as I put the concealer right there, I started, my accent started to switch. I also want to start doing my concealers with a brush instead of a sponge just because like I said I want to switch up the way that I do my makeup because I've been getting bored of the way that I do my makeup and I also I want to like see how good I can do my makeup is it giving something <laughs> is it giving something a little a little bit of je ne sais quoi. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set with my Laura Mercier in Honey. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and press the product in. So my thoughts on the Fenty concealer is I like the way that it blends into my face. Just like everything for me is pretty much about the blend. With the foundation, they call it the soft matte long wear foundation and it's soft. It's very soft. Like, as soon as I put it on my face, it started melting. And I love a foundation that can do that. A foundation that can melt into my skin is a foundation that is for me. If you're not melting into my skin, what are you doing? 
Now I'm just setting my left because I tend to get creasing. I don't know why. I think it's because I laugh too much. <laughs> and there I go laughing. It's just like, I like to laugh, in it? I just like to be smiling. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. So I'm just gonna take this right here. I've showed you guys this on multiple times. And just contour my face. So when I'm contouring my face, I just like to do a bit of this <laughs> so that I can really get under the cheekbones, baby, because if you're not contouring under your cheekbones, are you really contouring? And I am here to teach you how to contour the right places, isn't it? That's why you should watch this video, and that's why you should share it with your friends. If you've made it this far, that means that you have become upper level in makeup. Because you're learning from me, isn't it? You see how I just switch my accent one, two, so fast, one, two, quickly. Before you can even open and blink your eyes, I've switched my accent. I can't be the same, for I will become predictable and my ops will have won over me. And I, I have to stay on top of that. So I've already taught you guys the technique if you watched any of my makeup videos on how I contour my nose. So if you don't know, I'm not going to explain it. I'm going to put my makeup video where I go into deep, deep detail on how, on how I do my makeup, honestly. So if there's anything in here that you don't seem to understand, just reference that video. It has everything that you need to know. This is just a little synopsis of how I contour my nose. And that is the contour all done. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Sometimes I like to get it under my cheekbone and reverse contour because I want my cheekbone to be higher in it. Why would I get Botox when I can reverse contour? One, two, one, two. Cheek bones, cheek lines, jaw lines. I just do a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of reverse contour, and boom. And today I did like a really soft contour because it's not everyday harshness. It's 2022 and I'm trying to live my best soft life. I shall not want. Why? Because the Lord is my shepherd and he's yours too. So why are you wanting? <laughs> right now I'm gonna go and blush my face with the Kat Von D blush in Poppy. I picked this up at Sephora. I tried this and it was a very pigmented, very pigmented. And one thing about me is I like things that are pigmented because why should I not like that? I'm a UK black girl. I am pigmented, very much so. We want to look like these dudes make us very happy. So we want to be blushing 24 7. Hold on now. Hold on. I like this. I think this is a bit of me. Yes, and a little bit on your nose because are you really blushing if your nose isn't? I be seeing the girlies and they be doing all kinds of things. I'm gonna use my blush and my contour shade to bring back some color and some balance because I like to use the same colors that I used on my face, on my eyelid. You know one thing that I notice about you guys? Y'all don't be engaging and that's an issue. Y'all don't be engaging for real. It's 2022, why are you still behaving the same way? So I'm gonna go back with my contour shade and just put that in my eyelid. You guys have seen me do this multiple times, so I'm just gonna speed it up. And if you haven't seen me do it multiple times, is that my issue or is it your issue? I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and add that blush color into my crease as well. Just like I said, for balance. You guys see how pigmented that is? It's very pigmented. It's just giving me everything that it needs to get. Let me know what videos you want to see from me. So far, I'm not sure what you guys like. Just leave all of those requests down below. I'm going to go ahead and highlight my face. You guys have seen this highlighter multiple times before, but I'm going to be using this to highlight my face. If you don't know what it is, I go watch any of my makeup videos. I use it on there a lot. Makeup is pretty much all done. I'm going to go ahead and set my face. You guys know what setting sprays that I use. Sometimes I use the NYX Radiant Finish setting spray. I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna top it off with my Makeup Revolution setting spray. And I'll catch you guys later on. Do my lip combo and we'll be all set for this look. I did my lips off camera. I also did my eyebrows off camera. If you guys want an eyebrow tutorial, make sure to let me know down in the comments. And this is pretty much it for the UK black girl makeup look along with my first impressions for the Fenty foundation and the Fenty concealer and also the Kat Von D blush in Poppy. And I really liked how my makeup turned out. You guys can see it looks really nice. It looks really soft, but I'm also still keeping that bright under eye which is what I really like to go for. Let me know down below what you guys think about how this look turned out. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Remember to have that post notification bell turned on to be alerted every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!